for 57 years, since its discovery by three rock hounds in the mountains of eastern California, an oblong, two by three inch stone like mass has been at the heart of speculation around the world. Oh, how we want to believe that the truth is out there. Was it a rock embedded 500,000 years ago with an electronic device left on Earth by alien visitors? Or was it the remnant of a long gone advanced civilization? Beginning Saturday, you can see it for yourself at the Pacific Science Center. See the Koso Artifact. The Koso Artifact is on display in what is reality, Building 4, at the Pacific Science Center, 200, 2nd Avenue North Seattle. Hours, Mon Friday, 10 to 5. Sad, Sun and Holidays, 10 to 6. General Admission, $13.95-$23.95, free for members. Why all the speculation? When the rock-like object was sliced in half shortly after its discovery, a perfectly circular, porcelain-like section was found inside it. In the center of that section was a tiny pin that responded to a magnet. An X-ray clearly showed the metal pin, with a spring or helix at one end. The other half of the object showed metal covering the porcelain-like cylinder. How could this technology end up inside such a primeval mass? It became known as the Koso Artifact, after the California mountain range in which it was found. Like Bigfoot and the Loch Ness Monster, the Koso Artifact became the subject of widespread conjecture and speculation. The advent of the Internet put that speculation into hyperdrive. The Koso artifact is featured in a YouTube video titled Top 5 Artifacts That Prove Past Advanced Civilizations Existed, which has gotten 2.8 million views. Enter Pierre Stromberg, a Woodenville software manager, who has spent hundreds of hours researching the artifact. It's because of his work that the artifact is at the Pacific Science Center as part of a display space titled What is Reality, which also includes a walkthrough virtual reality adventure. Stromberg, 54, a 1986 graduate in computer science from Manhattan College in the Bronx, where he grew up, says that as a kid he read Eric von Däniken's Chariots of the Gods, which theorizes extraterrestrials influenced early human life. Pretty neat stuff, he thought back then. Stromberg says that in 1977, when he was 13, he lost his admiration for Von Däniken after watching a TV interview with the author. I was stunned how Von Däniken continued to obfuscate and maintain his assertions. I realized that some ancient astronaut proponents were not just wrong, they were willfully dishonest, says Stromberg. It really bothered me that I had let myself be influenced by them. But in his latest book, Out This Year, Von Däniken writes about the Koso artifact in Impossible Truths, amazing evidence of extraterrestrial contact. The existence of the pin in an object that is at least 500,000 years old provides evidence of significant knowledge of metallurgy at that time, he writes. The saga of the Koso artifact started innocently enough on February 13, 1961, when three friends who lived in Olancha, California, went to a nearby peak to look for interesting mineral specimens. Together they owned a gem and gift shop. They thought one of the specimens was a geode, a rock with a cavity that's lined with often colorful minerals. Tourists love them. Virginia Maxey, one of the shop owners, in May 1961 wrote a letter to the editor of Desert Magazine. In the opinion of one trained geologist, it has taken at least 500,000 years for this nodule to attain its present form and yet, when we cut it open, we discovered a man-made object. Maxi never identified the geologist. But that was enough for the stories to begin, from the 60s until the present day. During his research, Stromberg in 1999 contacted the Spark Plug Collectors of America.